When I heard about this share, I was by chance in Marseille working with Guillaume Roux, but a colleague from Vienna sent me an email with a call for this chair. And I was here already working with my colleague in the city. And I read the call and it's written, you need a local cooperator and you have to organize and create a whole semester of research. And then it was clear to me, since I always like to be in France or in Marseille, to apply. But it was also clear that I wanted to do something with a very special format, in the sense, not just a sequence of conferences, but to have a string going over the whole a roof, over the whole semester, not only scientifically, but also in the way how to communicate between the people coming, the people working here. So I told this to Guillaume that <clears throat> I would like to apply and to emphasize the communication viewpoint. And he agreed, and uh, I we wrote up a proposal, and it was about art and approximation because this is something very close to our heart. So Guillaume has been working in this field since his thesis. I have been always been interested, I'm not really profound expert, but I have done part of, of the field, and uh, I always liked it very much. So we proposed a program and combined it with some uh, items from algebraic geometry, visualizations, expositions, maybe an exposition in the city uh, to show the beauty or the shape of algebraic surfaces. So this was the combination we proposed to the Scientific Council. And it seems it was a very pro professional proposal because they accepted it. But <clears throat> at the same time, they told us that the semester we were applying to is maybe not the best suited one because the semester afterwards, there will be also a, a month, a thematic month on singularities. And it would be better to postpone our semester to this spring of 2015 and combine it with the thematic month of singularities. And we agreed and that's how it worked, up, worked out. The, the content and the focus is on what is called art in approximation. Though this is a problem, a very classical and famous problem in mathematics, uh, initiated among others by Michael Artin. And, uh, it concerns solving algebraic or analytic equations, not uh, in fields, but in power series rings. So this is something which appears very often, that you have to solve for functions and not just for points. And Artin was the one who did the main step in the 60s, proving a theorem which is now called after him, Artin approximation which had extensions and variations later on, but which is not a very active field in the last years, I would say, but which is very beautiful. And I got the feeling that it is not really completely understood what is behind. Many proofs are still kind of computational or don't miss a deeper understanding. And I was also working in a direction towards infinite dimensional geometry, where this problem also appears. So I wanted to combine these two things, the classical setting with this new viewpoint, seeing everything from a geometric perspective. And that's what, how, we, how we modeled the whole semester. So in the whole semester, we had kind of six events spread over the whole spring term, which started with a doctoral school, uh, two conferences with about 60 to 80 people each, two workshops, uh, smaller workshops with working groups, and one research in pairs or in teams with uh, four people. So the doctoral school was a starting point, uh, end of January. 
telling students, young researchers, postdocs, what is about outer approximation and giving them the background to follow afterwards the conferences. And this already worked out fantastically. It was really a family-like uh, meeting, very close contacts, very friendly, very attentive students. I think the lectures were excellent and the feedback was overwhelming. It was followed by a conference on art and approximation and singularities. And again, uh, people felt very comfortable. We asked also for the other conferences, the speakers to slow down a little bit and to, to be maybe more elementary than usually in order to be able to tell their story to more people, to, to be understandable. And this is not typical for conferences, but I insisted, and, and Guillaume agreed in this, that we should try to communicate the contents and not just show up, I am a good mathematician. And so I had to contact all speakers personally before their talks to tell them, please take your time, tell only half of the story, but, but tell it to everybody. And almost everybody agreed on this, and the feedback of the participants was, was really exciting. Very renowned mathematicians who told me, I rarely have been at a conference where I understood so much. And that's, that's a good sign. Yeah? So then in February there was this thematic month on singularities. I could not attend everything because we were very busy with the organization of the other things. And in March we had the main conference uh, where all the experts came together and exchanged the many aspects in the field. There was also a big group of people from model theory. It was very interesting to listen to. And then we had two weekly workshops with 15 people each, where we discussed more concretely uh, problems, examples, questions. And uh, I, I would apply again for this share just in few of these experiences. I, I could not expect that it would work out so nicely. And maybe it's my subjective view, but what I have heard from the participants, it was really Really a very, very nice story. Yeah. And uh, aside from the mathematical point of view, the circumstances at CIRM and the people here and the people of Marseille, it's just great. So I think I have fallen in love a little bit with the place, with the people and with the city of Marseille. So first, <clears throat> one benefit is certainly that a problem, a field of research which has been a little bit dormant, is reactivated and put on the right scene, the focus again. A field I believe it is important. It's not a very sophisticated field. The techniques are basic and everybody can approach it, but it has many, many applications and it's really fundamental to several aspects in mathematics. And uh, I think we try to, to look at this field and these phenomena from very different sides, combinatorics, commutative algebra, algebraic geometry, singularity theory, in order to really understand and to see what's going on. And there are so many ideas and propositions and suggestions popping up that I mean, I'm not, I didn't have time to collect all these impressions and these new proposals, but of course I will come back to this. And I think all the participants really profited of this whole, of this whole semester. Aside of the scientific events, I gave a class, a master class to students here in Marseille and all the doctoral students. And it was not a huge group, but it was a very attentive and very interested group. And we continued the class after the official end because they just wanted to know more. Yeah? And actually, these days we will have a match of football together with them. So also the social contact. Is. So 
There were great events and great moments, but I would rather scatter them over the whole semester. Many small, aha, uh -huh, oh, ah, I did not see this. It was not the big theorem which we have now here and we published it for years, but everything combined together and many new things came in and now they have to be digested and people have to interact to work on them. But it's not just proving theorems, it's a much deeper understanding, it's almost philosophical understanding what we are doing in mathematics, what are the important problems. Do we just want to prove results to become famous or to, to prove something? Or do we look for a larger environment of mathematics, a cultural environment, understanding simplicity, naturality, beauty, what is proving, what is understanding. You can understand or you have a proof where you just follow the steps, but this does not mean that you could not understand it differently. And now I think I myself and also many participants have this possibility to look at it from a much broader perspective and maybe to make something out of it. Yes, this was certainly a special moment when Michael Artin came, even though he came for a very few days. I have met him many years ago in Paris, so I knew him already, but now he's around 80, but he's very alive, very active. And he's a great mathematician with a huge, with a huge vision and also technical capacity. And he has a way of smiling and laughing, which I miss from many mathematicians. Just to be there, to enjoy and to laugh. And, ah! and uh, I, I had these experiences with other great mathematicians like Hironaka and Avianka and other people. And Mike Lauten is one of these who is really a, a symbol, a symbol how to do these things. And uh, it's amazing that he did this in Paris, this theorem, and it's the, pay, the proof is maybe three or four pages, and still there's something to it. And uh, it's, he says it is his most important theorem. So one should think about this. It is a development which lasts. Uh, it is an enrichment of you comprehension of your understanding of things and uh, it is an exchange between people. I think it's very important in mathematics to, to be close to each other mathematically, to stimulate each other and you have to do, you have to provide excellent circumstances that, so that this communication can happen. So I would say this was uh, one of the main points. The scientific progress is not counted in the number of papers which will appear afterwards. It is how we approach mathematics, how we approach life and understanding. And in this sense, I'm very satisfied with the semester. We have organized <coughs> earlier summer schools, big summer schools, one month long summer schools and other events. And it was always this focus to do something together with a common and joint perspective. And that's what scientific progress is, that people are excited to do it, that they want to do it, that they want to talk to each other and not to hide in their house and do their research. For a couple of years already, we are showing algebraic surfaces to a larger audience. Uh, first, because we have the visualizations, which are made by Povere, and uh, they, they, first they look nice, but this is maybe a matter of taste, uh, and many people may not like it. But there's one aspect I think is, which is important is the following. If you look at a geometric object, you don't use your analytical mind to perceive it. You see it, you just see it and you capture everything. Your brain is able to see it and to memorize it. But if you want to tell it to somebody else, I have seen this figure and now I describe it to you, you are not able to do this because there are no words for it. So the brain must have different patterns to, to memorize, to register. 
what you see. And this is a higher level of understanding than just the verbal, the analytical one, or the logical one. And then in mathematics and for algebraic surfaces, you can put to your object an equation, which is just x, y, z, and a couple of numbers. And now this is a code for this picture. And this code, you can give it to somebody else, and he plugs it in his computer, and he will see the, the figure again. So it is a way of communication. But it's not the interest just to look only at the equation. Yeah? So this is maybe the starting point to showing visualizations and pictures and images of surfaces to other people. I am not very keen of, of making everybody happy. But it's nice to organize something, and it also helps the mathematical community to be present in the society. And of course, the viewpoint at Marseille is the perfect place to do this. Organization is different, structuring is different, communication is different. But I knew it in advance, and I did not count on the virtues we have in Austria, but I counted on the virtues you have in France, which is a open-mindedness, a philosophical approach, a very gentle way of communicating, people who are very positive. And when I arrived here, I realized that Marseille is actually a place where this happens. People smile. People smile, but not because they want to, to flatten you. They smile because they feel comfortable with themselves. It was a very good experience, and I hope that I managed to do a good job. Of course, together with all the people working at CIRM and at the university. So I will certainly continue to think about this problem. The first thing to do is probably to collect all these inputs and to put them to a big tableau to see where are the important points, where are the directions to go to. Also to organize something in the future to, to raise the interest, to have students who work on these problems and to ask what are the correct and the important questions to investigate in the future. There are several proposals, but uh, a theorem like Artin's, which is so fundamental, is not even easy to discover without even talking about proving it. It's a statement you can formulate in three lines. It's fundamental, it is important, it's not easy to prove it, and it has many, many applications. So this, in some sense, is uh, the plan to look for such statements. We, maybe we already want them, but we don't know where the statement is or what is the precise formulation of it. Yeah? And then I will also, of course, uh, give this, hand this on to my students and the people in Vienna at the Faculty of Mathematics. And I hope that the contact to Marseille and all the people here continues through some teaching, some collaboration, mathematical or in other fields. I'm very, very happy about having been here. It is very interesting for somebody who is moving and living at other places, what to take from this place back home and how to profit it, of it or how to give it back to other people. And uh, Marseille is not an easy city and it has a, it's a city with many problems and also the mathematical landscape is a little bit delicate due to the, to the separate locations of the institutes and uh, it's not really easy to grasp the mathematical community here uh, but the main point the non-scientific main point is certainly to take up this to profit of this energy and this will to be positive. This, it's not only, I mean, if you go to Brazil, people like to live and they, they dance and they scream and they laugh. Here it's not like this, it's not Brazil. But people smile to you and they feel, they feel naturally. And 
I did not have a lot of personal contact on a profound level to people here, except from the people of, from Siam. But in the city, you have small contacts in the, in the shops, on the street, in, in bars. And I'm very happy with this. Yeah. So this will be certainly a take-home message. Try to see things positively. I think it's very important to have a place where you where you breathe, where you breathe and where also your brain can breathe. And this is what's happening here due to the special climate and also the nature of course. And uh, the installations of the of the building and the electoral and all this is, is good quality. Some things could be improved, maybe, but uh, all this is very okay. I am a little bit worried, not for the share, but for this as a center of conferences, that it's like a, a big machine. Every week you will have 50 to 100 people coming, mathematicians. They concentrate, they talk to each other, and then they put out again, and the next group is coming. So, of course, for those who come for one week, this is an exciting event and they like it and they talk to each other. But seen from outside, it's a little bit crazy. Yeah? So, like Flemings, you, know, you put them and they do their things and then they go again. And for the people who work here, even though they like it and they always told me that they appreciate working here and it's nice conditions, it must be a little bit strange to see all these big, heads and brains thinking about something nobody from outside mathematics can understand. And uh, there are so many mathematicians and so many papers and so many problems they think about. So this quantity is horrifying a little bit. Yeah? And I'm wondering whether all these problems are really so important and if we should not try to, to reduce the level of specialization and to try to work more generally on a more generalized level and to, to think about more, how should I say, more philosophical mathematical contexts. Not only proving but more understanding or less bifurcation, but that's a very delicate issue. In any case, Siam is great, I think, yes. And I'm very grateful that I have been able to be here.